WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a bit of a sea of red out there. You've got the uh, all the U.S. indices, that is. The Dow's off 250 points, about uh, three-tenths of a percent. Uh, three-quarters of a percent, that is. S&P is down nine-tenths, 37 points, a little over 1% for the NASDAQ 100, 134 points there. The Russell's down 27, one and a half. Semi's leading the charge. Excuse me, they're down two and a half percent or 67 points. Spot Volatinix still below its 50-day exponential moving average. Gold is trading up 12 bucks at 1919. Silver's up nine cents at 23.74. Lights recruit up 47 pennies. Natural gas basically flat out there with 30-year Treasury down 12 ticks. Trade out 131.22. What's all that mean? Jelly bean. We'll begin by taking like a nine-panel market update chart. Yesterday we saw some new profiles that were attempting to form. They did in fact take hold overnight. We know resistance stands at 4035 and support at 3883. More likely than not, price will go target 3883. At the same time, the ES Mini is doing that. We should see the spot volatility, spot volatility index. Go target its 50-day exponential moving average. That's at 22.18. The NQ also forming a new profile, bearish in structure. The ES Mini is bullish in structure. Here you've got the center in the NQ closer to the top than to the bottom of its profile. If price today closes below 11.456, odds favor a run back to the 11.053 area. Of course, we need to see where that oscillator and change line is for the daily time frame inside the NQ. That's something we'll look at during the Trader's Edge show. The U.S. dollar index just trading sideways above the bottom of its profile at 101.86. Gold is trading um, above the top of a new daily profile that has formed that resistance level is 1912.50 silver still struggling to take out its rosemontum indicator top at 2452 new profile has formed here as well 2347 is support that's been tested and so far rejected speaking of new profiles well lights we crude will not be left out of that conversation the bottom of which is 7734 and the top at 8177 we can see we take a look at the 30-year treasury item, sorry, natural gas contract. I've switched that to the weekly. Uh, it's got the daily profiles. The reason, and, and price is trading below daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly profiles out there. I just have the daily that are on here. So what the natural gas contract needs is a bullish reversal candidate to confirm some type of bottom. And the 30-year treasury, if it closes above 132.15, that will trigger an A to B equals C to the upside. But right now, resistance is held. And that's the level watch, 132.15. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.